can't help but stick with the local beers, so why not go with another one here? Big Top Brewing, Sarasota, Florida. Got a growler of this. It's their peanut butter and jelly pale ale. They've actually got a promotion going for the rest of the month of August, where if you bring in a jar of peanut butter and a jar of jelly, you will get a free pint of this beer. I uh, decided to do that to check it out, and I uh, liked it so much I got a growler fill of it. But uh, this is actually going to now only be the second time I'm tasting it. So it'll be fresh again for you guys here. See, nice color, pale ale there. Very, very nice and bubbly there, too. Very, very wonderful peanutty aroma. You know, you guys know I like my peanut butter beers. And if you can add a fruit element into it, it, it just, it works for me. Oh, you get that hint of the fruit sweetness. I think it's raspberry at the end of it there. Um, it's not overwhelmed by the peanut. The peanut is pretty strong, but it all blends really well together. And it's not, um, not overly bitter for a pale ale. Um, if it was a little bit, if it was too bitter, I think it would, um, I think it would hurt the uh, the peanut a bit because the peanut tends to be kind of bitter on its own too. But it's the perfect level of nutty and sweet with this one. Mm. And it's, um, I believe it's 5.6% ABV. I'm almost positive that's the case. Part of me wants to say it's 5.2, but I'm almost positive it's 5.6. Oh. Very very delicious. There's there's not a lot of other background I can give on this one. It's just it's a delicious peanut butter and jelly pale ale. Now, if you're not into peanut butter in your beers, you're not going to like this. But if you like to try something a little bit different, if you've had peanut butter beers before, for instance, if you like their um, Declan's Indulgence um, chocolate peanut butter, I believe it's chocolate peanut butter, um, you're probably going to like this because you know where their skill lies with doing peanut in their beer. Um, this one's fantastic though, I love it. It's like back-to-back -back limited runs for me with the blown bubblegum pale ale, which looking on untapped, there seemed to be a lot of uh, visceral reactions to that one where people did not like it. I loved it, but maybe it's just me, I don't know. Um, this one, it seems that it's been going over pretty well. And plus, you get to donate to a good cause and all that. So, fantastic in my opinion. Mm. That is good. That is good. Very happy with that. Um, gonna see if I can get another growler of it this week too when I stop by there on Thursday. Um, and actually, this past weekend, I was up in Tampa and I got to stop by Copper Tail Brewing. Did not get a growler filled there, but I did stop by the uh, brew pub for the Tampa Bay Brewing Company and um, did get a growler fill there. So I'm gonna have a review coming up with one of their beers uh, either next week or the week after, depending on, uh, well, I got another Funky Buddha beer in there that I wanna uh, dip into for a review too. It's all Florida, all Florida beers. Um, you know what, I'll give a little shout out to a non-Florida beer that I've actually really enjoyed recently. And I'll just talk about it right here really, really quick. Um, if you like coconut and you like IPAs, Dogfish Head Lupa Luau IPA, it's fucking really, really good. So don't drop it in your fridge though. And if you do, don't fucking open it right after. But no, that, that, one, that one's really good. Just wanted to give a little shout out to that. I didn't want to do a full review for it. I only got a couple bottles left of it anyway. But uh, check that out if you like that. But if you like peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly, pale ale, big top brewing, if you want to get yourself a free pint, stop by their, um, their brewery with a jar of peanut butter and a jar of jelly, and they will pour a pint for you. And if you uh, show up on Thursdays when it's anything goes uh, growler fills, you can get a growler fill of it too. So with that, I'll see you for the next review.